Hello, everybody, and welcome back in to Understanding CBD. Hello there, Max Sobel. Hello there, Stephen Wallman. And this is our cannabis investment segment created with the support of our media partner, Hemp Today. Check them out at hemptoday.net. We are connecting investors to businesses that are shaping the industry. So if you own a business and are raising capital, if you're an investor looking for an opportunity, you'll want to call or text us at 443-743-2444, and we'll we'll be happy to make that connection. Today, we're bringing you yoga pants. But of course, not just any yoga pants, ladies and gentlemen. These yoga pants are made out of hemp. Uh, Blue Zipper is the name of the company, and the man in charge is Stuart Berman. He's an entrepreneur, designer, and fabric producer. Stuart, welcome to Understanding CBD Cannabis Investment Segment. Hey, thanks for having me today. Yeah, it's good to see you, Stuart. i got to ask you a first question. Um, what's your motivation to begin this company? Um, it's a long story. Um actually wrote a paper in college on the legalization of marijuana, so I've been a fan of hemp since my college days and not a fan of polyester. So when <laughs> hemp is starting to become more readily available, we look to ways to use it. Uh, so we're using it with other technology to produce a fabric that's comparable to a synthetic. So it's a viable alternative to the current polyester fabrics. and. What most people don't realize is the current polyester fabrics pollute our water every time you wash them. So the statistics are about one-third of ocean plastic is from our apparel. And so that's kind of our motivation to reduce plastic pollution, uh, use hemp, which is a sustainable fabric, and offer consumers products that they still want. And Stuart, why yoga pants specifically? Why do your yoga pants stand out from the rest? Uh, we picked yoga pants because we found that women tend to wear them for hiking, for yoga, obviously, and just every day. It's a versatile product that uh, can be used for different, uh, for different activities, from uh, athletics to just lounging around the house. And it's a nice foray into the fem- fem- feminine market. Now, the fabric that you're using for the yoga pants, is this um, a fabric that's just unique unique to you guys? Yeah, so the fabric is only produced uh, when we make it. So we we are trying to raise capital right now to do our first production run. Uh, we know from early testing that the material will, will perform the level we expect it to, and so we have to meet a lot of minimums to get this off the ground. Now, and that's we're raising money these days. Perfect. So how can the listeners directly support you? So we do have a website, which we are pre-selling our leggings. So we're selling them at a discounted rate. Uh, we're making the fabric in the United States, and we're producing them in the United States. And they're going to be $76 shipped to your door. So it's free shipping in the United States. Uh, we will be shipping to Canada, but there is a fee for that. So right now, only the United States and Canada will be able to get our pants. So this is a pre-sale that's on your website that you currently have, right? Correct. What about uh, what about additional investments? Uh, we are trying to raise from outside investors about fifty thousand dollars, and that money will be used for uh, obviously producing our first run of fabric, the small production run, and then the remainder for marketing and promotion. And that should get us into the markets. So people know. That we're what we do and what we're about. Now, the yoga pants. I'm going to take a, one question about the yoga pants because um, a lot of people are very spe- specific about these things. And um, do they have pockets? They do. We design them. Uh, a lot of the stuff we design is more for functionality. Uh, it's comfort, fit, functionality, and so we have two side seam pockets, and we actually designed it with three center back pockets. Uh, and the pockets won't have any. Um, if you're doing yoga, you won't even know the pockets are there, but if you're hiking and need them, you'll have them when you need them. All right, now back to the investment just real quick. So other than the actual cash, are you looking for any other skill sets in a potential investor? Uh, Marketing is probably our strongest skill set we're looking for. So uh, investors who have a marketing and promotion background, that would be top of the list. Uh, We have, I can handle production and development of the product I've made clothes in the past, and so I understand that completely. It's just kind of letting people know who we are uh, and what we do. And we did, and we named the name Blue Zipper uh, after 
the planet, you know, the blue planet, and zipper just represents apparel. And we changed the U and U to a V, so it's blue with B L V E zipper. Is that is that like is your name spelled S T V R T instead of the U? You know, it's funny. <laughs> you, you should know, start spelling it that way. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, don't, I should talk to my parents about that. They, they should have been a lot more forward thinking when they named me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we, our website's Blue Zipper with a B, B L V E Zipper dot com, and you know, you can direct message me. Uh, you can email me through the website. We have Instagram, Facebook. You can direct message me through all those platforms if you have questions and want to connect. Investors too can reach out to you that way as well. Hundred percent. Uh, 100%. You have other materials in those uh, uh, leggings other than the hemp. I, I think you mentioned another material. What's that? So the, the leggings are comp are made out of what's going to be three different yarns. It's going to be hemp, which we calculate about 10% um, in this pair. We plan to add um, hemp uh, in a greater quantity in other styles. Uh, but to create a quick-drying, moisture-wicking material, we could... We have to balance the technology. So it's going to be about 10% hemp. We're going to have about 6% of what's called Serona fiber, and that is a plant-based uh, stretch yarn. And so 37% of that yarn is actually plant-based, and the remainder is going to be cotton with a patented moisture-wicking technology. And that's going to be woven a certain weight and weave to uh, compete with polyester synthetics. Yeah, I know you know a lot about fabric, Stuart, but I know I don't, and I don't think our listeners know much. But when you talk about polyesters and, and you talk about your fabric with these benefits, what are typical fabrics made out of? I mean, what's the problem? It's made out of plastic? Where does that come from? Why is that a problem? So polyester and nylon, they're all oil-based products. Made of oil? So they're oil. They're oh. all made out of oil. And so what happens is when you throw them in the wash, and, and they don't even really talk about the dryer. People talk more about the wash, but ironically, when you throw them in the dryer, your dryer lint is actually little pieces of plastic, and you're actually shooting it into the atmosphere. And when you wash it, you shed microplastic into our waterways, and when you calculate all that shedding, it equates to about one-third of ocean plastic. Uh, it's making its way into our food system, into our water system, and they've calculated today almost 90% of U.S. tap water has plastic in it. Oof. So we consume about a credit card worth of plastic a week at this point. 